Good morning, my fellow men, my brothers, walking this spiritual journey to become souls of light and love. I commend you for your efforts. We all fall short of the glory of God. However, our hope, our joy, and our trust is in him as we struggle through this life, guys. Guys, today it is... uh, December 13th, 2023, as the year comes to an end. And I reflect and my semen retention streak came to an end, as you know, if you watched my last couple of videos. But what I wanted to tell you is three days after releasing and falling slave to the spirit of lust. I fell, guys. Just like King David fell in the Bible, I fell. But King David only fell once. I fell thousands of times in my life. And I went on a 407 day streak. And then I fell again. So the battle against these spirits of darkness will last all your life, in my opinion. And I fell ill. Three days after releasing, I fell ill. I became sick, and now I still am sick. Yes, I'm recovering. I'm on the back end of the sickness. It peaked maybe last weekend. but I'm still ill. And so my new streak is 21 days, guys. So 21 minus 3 is 18 days I've been ill. And when I say ill, I mean coughing mucus. I have drainage of mucus that goes down my throat into my lungs and I'm coughing it up. I feel weak. And in my opinion, it is because I released my semen. The whole 407-day streak, guys, I did not get sick once. Three days after releasing, I got sick, and I still am. Now, it was pretty bad, and it peaked, like I said last week. But now I'm recovering. I can tell I'm getting better, but I still am sick guys that's about all for the video actually no i'll 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 tell you one thing i did i decided as i was the sickness was getting really bad i decided i would do a fast and repent i have already repented but i wanted to fast as a sacrifice And also, from what I've researched, fasting can help you recover from illness and prevent illness because as you fast for a prolonged period of time, your body will start to heal itself and regenerate white blood cells. It will go into what's called autophagy, which is the recycling of dead cells and damaged cells and also viruses and bacteria. It will break those down and burn them for energy. So I did an 88-hour fast, you guys. I know it sounds like a long time, and a lot of you might say, wow, how could you go 88 hours without eating? Well, I got to tell you, the first 20, the first day, the first day you do not eat, that's the hardest, you guys. But after that, when you wake up the next day, somehow the hunger goes away. And I've watched a few videos and there's a medical explanation as to why the hunger goes away, but it does. 
And then it's just a mental game. But once I did that 88-hour fast and I prayed daily, read my scriptures, asked the Lord for forgiveness, and reflected on my fall and how I fell to lust, guys. After that fast, I began to heal. So I would say I have maybe, I don't know how many more days I'm going to be sick, but I'm still blowing my nose. I'm still spitting up mucus. That's it, guys. I wanted to tell you some of the consequences of releasing your seed. Now, I don't have scientific proof, but that's what happened to me. Have a good day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.